So now that you've learned how to select your machine in the Fusion 360 Slicer, how do you set up your printing profiles? Well, that's what I'm going to show you in the next minute or so. Stick with me and let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of Fusion Minute by DIY3Dtech.com. In the next minute or so, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up a printing profile in the Fusion Slicer. To do this, we're in the manufacturing workspace as we covered in the past video. And with this, we're going to go up here to Manage, and you can see this. And what we're going to do is click the pull down. We're going to go to Print Settings Library and we're going to click this and it's going to bring up the print settings library now we're going to go to samples up here and then we're going to go to technology over here and we're going to use triple f here and you notice it now defines a smaller list of existing profiles so uh, as the basis of ours we're going to use this one right here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to copy this profile. Now as I click copy this profile, it's now copied. I'm going to click local, which means this is now going to be local to myself. And then you notice that this icon is lit up here, paste copied profile. Now this profile is copied locally for myself, so I can edit it and then I click edit and now I can make all these changes now one of the things uh, you might notice and I'm sure this will also evolve with time there are a number of different very cool options in the uh, slicer settings and this is just one of them we'll cover out many more in future one minute episodes but hey I've gotten you here so now you can hack away at the various settings and hopefully you enjoyed it if you did thumbs up swag shop in the corner and we'll catch you in the next fusion 360 minute Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.